You know, one of the best pastimes is going shopping. You know, whether it's the mall, the grocery store, freaking the swap meet, those places are amazing. Now, I'm not gonna talk about everything right here. More specifically, I wanna talk about grocery stores. Grocery stores has to be one of the weirdest places to go because you can see everything. And I'm talking about not just the Walmarts and the Kroger's of the world. I'm talking about anywhere, whether it's from Foot City, or sprouts, you can see how the environment or the area is regarding the food quality they have and the price. Because trust me, wherever you go, whatever that area is, you can see how it is on the store. Now, why why do you why am I saying these things now? I remember going to places like Foot City and Ranch Market. Heck, we still do to this day because my parents speak Spanish and they speak Spanish as well. So we go there, and most most of these stores have. A um, places where you can get like sweet bread, you know, your conchas, your cookies, all that sort of stuff. And when you look at them, you're like, wow, that looks delicious. And then you take it home and you're ready to dig and you're ready to eat. And then you realize this doesn't taste that good. I mean, I'm over here wondering wh why does it taste like it doesn't taste good. It tastes kind of stale. And that's kind of all of the food over there. When my parents bring the groceries and they say, oh, we spent over $200 on food. I'm like, God damn, how much is the food we didn't get like three months of food because it all finishes in two weeks and then i look at the receipts and i find out that like four limes equals to like one dollar or two dollars or like four avocados equals five dollars or one melon equals five dollars like what why is it so expensive and it's not even those places too walmart is starting to get expensive as well i guess this is starting to correlate to why we as a society need to start doing something and get more money now i can do a video essay on politics and why we as a society should do better but now i'm gonna talk about grocery stores now what is the best grocery store in my opinion walmart has to be the best grocery store even though i just told them told you guys why it's kind of a bad grocery store because it's expensive it walmart has everything you want new clothes Walmart. You want food? Walmart. You have itchy feet? Walmart. You want uh, school supplies? Walmart. You want a table? Walmart. You want a bike? Walmart. You want tires? Walmart. You want um, condom? Walmart. Walmart has everything. Now this isn't an uh, ad sponsored by Walmart because I'm also going to talk about the negatives. Walmart is very dangerous and very horrible because trust me a lot of weird and horrible things has happened when I was in Walmart. I've seen a lot of things not just in real life but also on the internet all these fights happening all people stealing stuff and you really can't do anything in walmart i remember one time i was walking in walmart and i stepped on something and it smelled horrible i then realized it was piss yeah it was horrible and then i would see people doing naughty stuff in walmart out of all sorts of places and then there are people that dress up horrible in walmart i'm like bro you're going outside for like the first time in months i know you're not gonna dress up like you're going to the matt gala but come on on, dude like why are you dressed up like this why like i'm not over there dressing up in the finest of attires but come on at least cover it up but yeah walmart has to be in the top tier of grocery stores that you can buy anything but when you level up you go to target now target is more expensive and I know this because whenever we go to Target, I can see, man, it was more cheaper in Walmart. We should have just went to Walmart. I don't know why we didn't go to Walmart instead. But Target does have better products in a way because they have stuff that is in better quality. Walmart does not have that Target does. They have, as I said, clothes. Walmart has clothes, but Target has it better. Food, Target has it better. Tires, tar Target has it better. Condom, Target has it better. Like all these sort of things, Target has leveled up from what Walmart had because it's a better version of it. And all those things are good and all, but what is the superior store? Well, there are a lot of stores I go to. Um, I remember back in the day, Sam's and Walmart used to be together because I would wonder whenever we would go to Sam's Club, like why is there a Walmart truck there? That doesn't make any sense. But then I realized that they were formed together. Now, Sam's Club is an interesting beast because it's a mix of Walmart and Costco and we'll talk about Costco later. The Sam's Club is a place where you can get a lot of things a pretty reasonable amount of money and they're bigger in size. We'll talk about that later on as well but in my opinion what is the peak of the stores? What is peak grocery store? We as a society have peak because we have Costco. Now a lot of people mean Costco because they're like you always go to Costco and you always get more than what you wanted. All you wanted was a case of eggs and you go 
go out leaving $300 in debt. And it's true because that's how they get you because it's so much savings. You know, when you think about it, you go there, you get your eggs, you're like, oh, okay, things are good. But then you wonder, well, the toilet paper, we use a pretty good amount of it. And think about it. Most toilet paper has this amount while in Costco, it has more and you calculate it. We save more money if we get the bigger ones. It just makes sense. So we go to Costco and Costco has everything that's bigger clothes. It's always in packs. Food always in packs. Oil always in packs. And I bet you condoms <laughs> always in packs. And do not even get me started on the Costco food court, dude. Costco food court, it, honestly, you could just get a membership just to go to the Costco food court. You can get a glizzy and a drink for like three bucks. You can get a good slice of pizza for two bucks. You can get this delicious del delicacy of all time by the name of a chicken bake only in Costco. I've never seen it done anywhere else. You can even get freaking BLTs, uh, pulled pork sandwiches, salads, um, all these other types of meal salads. You can get them in the Costco food court. You can get dessert as well. You want a churro, you can get a churro. If you want ice cream, you can get ice cream. So in my opinion, Costco is the epitome of grocery stores, even though it does have problems because you know you need to get a membership and they charge you like almost every year just to go to Costco. And then you also come $300 in debt. But hey, Costco, again, one of the best places out there. So Costco, if you're watching this video, let's make a deal. Let's, let's you know, let me get an ad or something. You know, I, I, I can bend over. I can do anything for money or at least a year off in my Costco membership.